What is up everybody, Deuce with Deuce Gaming here and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, the 5D series walkthrough. Uh, I think this is part 23 and the Edge of Elimination, part 3, this is three parts right in a row with the, one of the most annoying decks in the goddamn world. Part 1, you're gonna, if you watch that part, you're gonna see me fuming out my ears if I had a screen cam going on, which I'm gonna work on on getting guys. You will have literally seen steam smoke coming out of my ears from how pissed I was getting. Because I did the duel like four times in a row, give or take a duel, and it just was not going for me until I finally used my Synchrons because I wanted to show you guys my Vampire deck, and it was just not having it. But it did let me show it to you a little bit, not the best of ways, but in The Edge of Elimination Part 2 where he faced this guy and made him look like a chump in one, probably one of the shortest uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu -Gi -Oh! Legacy of the Duelist episodes to date on my channel. And here we go with the Agile of Elimination, and I'm going to stop rambling, and here we go. You say now face Team Unicorn's crafty Captain Jean, or Jean, whatever you guys want to call him. Congrats on lasting this long, but now your time is up. The time has come for Team Unicorn to lower its horn, charge in, and finish you and Team 5Ds once and for all. Probably has like some 80s vibe because he looks like an 80s character in my personal opinion. But yeah. Alright, so I don't really know what I want to show you guys. Synchron Vampire. Synchron Vampire. Synchron Vampire. Synchron. And the reason why I picked Synchron is because we all know this deck to be trustworthy. Uh, I haven't really lost except for maybe a few duels where I've had to redo them. But other than that, this deck is the bomb diggity. Alright, so we're going to set Scrap Iron Scarecrow face down first and foremost. We're going to set Quill Bolt Hedgehog face down. Then we're going to activate the spell card Reinforcements of the Army. This is going to allow us to add Junk Synchron from our deck to our hand. Alright, and then we're going to set Kunai with, uh, Kunai with Chain face down. And we are going to end our turn because we do want Quill Bolt Hedgehog in the graveyard so we can get uh, junk, uh, whatever the hell it's called, uh, Junk Warrior. So he's going to summon the Fabled Cerberus, destroy, uh, discard the one card that might have saved his butt. But it looks like he's just going to go straight off for Thunder Unicorn right off the bat. Monoceros allows him to re-summon the Fabled Cerubero. And he's going to go into his attack mode. He's going to destroy our face down monster Quillbolt Hedgehog. Bye bye Hedgehog. It was nice knowing Yeah, He's going to do a direct attack and that's where we're going to activate our face down. Scrap Iron Scarecrow to negate your attack. No. Alright, so he's going to Synchro Summon those two? What? Voltic Bicorn? Um... Yeah, I was not, you know, expecting that. So we're going to Summon Junk Synchron. Use Junk Synchron's effect to sp special summon Quillbolt Hedgehog from the graveyard. Activate another card's effect. We're not activating Kunai of Chain. Alright, now we're going to activate an effect. We're going to activate Doppel Warrior's effect. It's going to activate to activate another card, so we're going to summon Doppel Warrior into defense mode, everybody. Alright, no, quit asking. We're going to special summon. Now we could summon Junk Warrior and use those two, and this card will get a massive boost. So I think that's what we're going to do, guys. Um, we're going to Synchro Summon this and Doppel Warrior. Send those two to the graveyard to summon Junk Warrior into attack mode. Now, thanks to Junk Warrior's effect, but we're going to activate Doppel Warrior's effect second because that goes first. No. All right, so Doppel Warrior, we gain two tokens into attack mode with 400 attack points. So essentially, our Junk Warrior is going to gain 1600 attack points. No. We're going to go into our battle phase and have Junk Warrior attack Voltic Bicorn. Quit asking. He's going to lose those Voltic Bicorn. We have to send the top five cards, seven cards of our deck to the graveyard. Both players. All right, then we're going to have Doppel Token attack him directly. It looks like we lost some good cards, but you know what? It was worth it because his butt is pwned in my opinion. Because this deck is so worth the shit. Main phase two. Alright, so I'm going to wait on activating Swords of Revealing Light because we do have Scrap Iron Scarecrow to save our booty if we really do need it. Uh, but here we go. He draws his card. 
All right, Jean. I'm gonna call him uh, Jean because you know he looks like a Jean. God, really, really? I work so hard for this, and you're gonna destroy all my fucking monsters. And since that was discarded, that gets special summoned, and then he's gonna summon Rhino Rhinoceros. So we have to make a choice. Do we activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow on one or the other? We're gonna lose the same amount. Oh, you... This is what. Calm down. Calm down, Deuce. Calm down. Calm down. Usa. You're okay. Everything is peachy clean. You are not angry. You are not pissed. Activate Swords of Revealing Light to save your ass for the next few turns and pray you draw a card that is good. Alright, Scrap. Alright, Swords of Revealing Light. Turn one down. Doppel Warrior. Okay, we're gonna set you face down. That, 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 we can build a defense off you. Okay. <sighs> Anger. Alright, that's turn two. Come on, give me a Junk Synchron. Give me a Junk Synchron, or any kind of Synchron, really. Why couldn't you have been on, you know, on my field, you know, turn two turns ago? But that's okay, you know, everything's, everything's peachy. Alright, Swords of Revealing Light gone. Come on, give me a card, give me a card, give me a card. Mirror Force, okay, that works. That works, baby, that works. That, okay. Whew. Uh, come on, just, just keep calm. Keep a level head, Deuce. If you get angry, you're going to start making really bad decisions. And when you make bad decisions, it doesn't. it makes you just look like an idiot. And you're done looking like an idiot. Mirror Force. No, not activating another card. Destroy all cards on his side of the field. He's gonna set a card face down and he's gonna end his turn. Okay, that's all cool. Alright, we're gonna activate Foolish Burial. This will allow us to send. Uh, I do not know. What card do I want to send to the graveyard? I think I'm going to summon Quillbolt Hedgehog to the graveyard because I can get a nice deck shuffle and hopefully, you know, it doesn't fuck us over. So we're going to flip Summon Doppel Warrior into attack mode, everybody. No, it's going to keep asking us to activate Kunai with Chain, but that's okay. That's okay. Alright, so we're going to have Doppel Warrior attack Jean directly. No. And he's going to activate the spell card Scapegoat. Fuck! It's okay. Keep a level head. Keep a level head. We can do this. We can do this, people. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Anger, anger. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <sighs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Just activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Make that monster go into defense or stop its attack. You're fine. Alright, we're gonna set Majestic Dragon face down. We're going to end our turn because we're 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 mellow. We're we're in a good mood. We're not angry. We're not angry at all. We're not angry at all. Just activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow. He has no more lightning vortexes. He can't he can't bone you over with that anymore, Deuce. He can't he d he can't do it anymore. You're all good. Now you can summon Junk Blader into attack mode because you know you're awesome. Alright, let's go into battle phase, everybody. We're gonna have Junk Blader attack his Hypnocorn and make him lose some fucking life points because it's about goddamn time he did because he's really starting to piss me off. Okay, calm back down. Oh, keep it mellow. Oh, sorry guys if this is really boring. But my anger level is so goddamn high, I'm about ready to rage. He's gonna summon the fabled Cerubaril. And he's about to bone me again. Okay, calm. Usa. Thunder Unicorn into attack mode. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. He's gonna go to his battle phase. He's gonna attack. So we're gonna do two things first. We're gonna activate Kunai of Chain. Now this is going to do both effects. It's going to switch his monster to defense mode and increase our monster's attack points. It's time you got boned, you douchebag. Okay, he's going to set a card face down and end his turn. 
That's our draw. We got Road Synchron. We're going to summon him into attack mode. All right, we can special summon Goyo Guardian. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to Synchro Summon Junk Blader and Road Synchron to summon Goyo Guardian because we're going to make his Unicorn work for us and make him finally lose some fucking life points in the process. Okay, calm, calm. Ooh, okay. Okay, Goyo Guardian, destroy that. Use his effect to bring his that, that Unicorn to our side of the field. Okay. And end our turn, and next turn he is going to be boned and lose the rest of his life points because my anger level cannot take this anymore. Nope, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Whew. Junk Servant, I can work with you. Alright, we're going to summon Junk Servant. Okay. Uh. Son of a bitch. I pressed the wrong button. Now I can't attack with those guys. But it's okay! Even though I'm very angry, I want to throw my controller and punch through my TV. I'm fine. <sighs> yes, I'm trying to reassure myself. That's because I am fine. I'm very fine. I'm okay. Can I summon... I can summon Star Eater. I'm gonna do that because I'm awesome. Get rid of those three. Oh, let's okay. We'll get rid of those three. Goyo Guardian might have helped, but Star Eater is even better, guys. It really is. Oh fuck! I'm so pissed off. Okay, scapegoat, you son of a motherfucking god damn it! Oh, <laughs> and grows rising now. Back. To its level that I was gonna Okay, I'm gonna shut up for a quick minute so I can try to calm down like I'm seriously getting extremely pissed off You guys might not believe me, but I really am I really hope you guys, because I just realized you guys might be getting background noise from my television. And if these three parts are all messed up because you're getting background noise, you guys, I'm going to be drowning it out essentially with music. So I hope you guys can bear with me when it comes to that. Because if you can, I, 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 I'm not re-recording these. No way in freaking hell. Alright. Alright, so we're going to summon, we're going to flip summon Majestic Dragon. Nothing we can do. Alright, so we're going to summon Junk Forward into attack mode because I freaking can. Go into battle phase. Have his Thunder Unicorn destroy Hypnocorn. And have Star Eater eat his ass to where he cannot take a shit son of a fucking bitch. Oh, anger. Oh, anger, 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 anger. This duel is going needlessly way too fucking long. It doesn't need to be this long. It doesn't need to be this long. It should have been over a long fucking time ago. Oh. Calm down, Deuce. Calm down. It's about to end now. You're fine. Destroy that damn Voltic. Son of a bitch. Uh, and then send more cards to our fucking graveyard. And there goes our right Gaki. And then we're going to have Drill Synchron attack. And we're going to lose even more fucking life points. And we're going to end our turn. Because that's what we do. Because this guy's a fucking douchebag. I've been recording for 14 and a half minutes of a bullshit duel. For a 10 second intro. I, uh, you have no idea. How bad my anchor is so bad right now. We're going to destroy his trident unicorn or whatever the hell it's called. Go into our main phase two. We're going to switch these guys to defense mode so we don't lose life points. And end our turn. It's his draw. I just might cut and edit some of this out because this duel is going needlessly long and it's really pissing me off. Sorry if I'm breathing into the mic. I'm seriously getting extremely mad. And like... 
I'm trying to contain myself the best I can, but it is extremely hard. I don't have anger issues, guys, at all, too. That's the funny thing. This is just mainly because of the fact I quit smoking and I have no way to actually... Because when I used to get mad or something, I'd just go smoke a cigarette. And now that I don't have that, I have no way of, no real way of releasing my anger. So I'm finding it very, very hard to keep calm in a situation where it's very stressful and annoying and just I want to punch through the TV because this duel is so needlessly long. Holy shit, I just want to throttle Jean because he just keeps playing monster after monster. Just accept it. Just fucking accept it. You have 900 life points. I have a 3200 monster that can't be affected by spells and trap cards. When I at attack, oh, just accept it, bro. Just accept it. Good. I drew the card I needed. Synchro Blast Wave. Destroy that fucking face down and I can just attack you directly. We're going to go into our battle phase and just have Star Eater end this fucking thing. Quit asking me. God damn. Quit asking me. Quit asking me. Okay. Finally. Jean. My team poured everything we had into getting into this tournament. But I let you rattle me. I don't know how you did it. But you really got under my skin. This is not Team Unicorn's defeat, you say. This is my defeat. I won't let you take all the blame. But it's true. I lost. I got stupid and careless and threw away all of our efforts. No, you were being a douchebag and kept playing defense and a needlessly long fucking battle. That's what you did. What are you talking about? You were amazing out there, Jean. Jean, whatever. I've never been prouder to be your teammate. You were always so cold and calculating, Jean. But this time you were passionate. It was great. I can't imagine anyone tooling someone with your energy and skills and not feeling the same way, you say. Thanks, Brio. We should be thanking you. This duel may have changed how you Team Unicorn does things, and for the better. Okay, good. I'm gonna end this part here. Uh, it might be I might just do Dragon Ball Z uh, Xenoverse tomorrow because my anger level is so through the roof right now. We have a duel for redemption in the next one. Uh, where we play as Jack and we'll be using Jack's deck. Uh, not the story mode deck, but the one I made for him. So I'll see you all next time. I'm Deuce with Deuce Gaming. May the heart of the cards be with you guys. Please like and subscribe down below. And also comment down below for what you guys like in this video. And I do apologize for my anger level through this one. If you guys found it funny, great. If you didn't, I'm sorry. If you didn't like the video, let me know in the comments down below also what you guys didn't like. Because I know I can't cater to everyone, but I am still new to YouTube and everything. So I'm trying to learn the best way I can and your guys' feedback on what to do and what not to do and what you guys like is very important to me. I know I can't, like I said, I know I can't cater to everyone. But anyways, I am going on just like that needlessly long fucking duel and I'll see you all next time. Peace!